The human brain, the wellspring of all human acts, is made of 86 billion neurons, each of which make an average 7,000 connections with other neurons. This massive network of cells make up around 2% of your body weight, but uses 20% of your resting energy expenditure. This enormous amount of energy and fuel is provided to the brain via its blood supply. This blood supply is so crucial that if disrupted, it causes immediate electrical failure followed by cell death, a phenomenon which we call infarction or in better words, stroke. It is estimated that around 8 miles of neural fibers are lost per minute if a major large artery is blocked during a stroke. This equals to losing 2-3 to three million neurons per minute. This huge loss of neurons usually presents as sudden focal neurological deficits such as sudden slurred speech, facial droop, numbness, arm or leg weakness, etc. Showing these symptoms tells us that you are probably having a stroke. But can you also have a stroke without any noticeable symptoms? Well, the answer is yes. Owing to advancements of medical imaging, a new term named silent stroke has emerged in the medical literature. As the name suggests, these are people who actually had a stroke but were never aware of it because of lack of any overt symptoms or better said, it happened in a silent way. Later on, these apparently healthy individuals might get a brain imaging for other reasons such as a headache, trauma, or other stuff. It is at this time that they are incidentally found to have an old stroke on their brain imaging. So, as you can see, silent stroke is basically diagnosed based on imaging, preferably an MRI. It is defined as a focal bright lesion larger than 3 mm in size found on MRI images of the brain. Interestingly, silent strokes are nowadays being detected more often than the past due to advances in technology and increasing availability of MRI. It is now estimated that 20% of the elderly might have a silent stroke. But why is silent stroke important? After all, it's silent, isn't it? Well, the first and foremost reason that makes silent stroke super important is the increased chances of having a full-blown symptomatic stroke down the road. The odds of having an overstroke can be up to 10 times more in patients with an incident of silent stroke. So, early detection of silent stroke buys you some time before you possibly experience the big devastating stroke. During this gap time, your risk factors for strokes such as high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, high cholesterol, abnormal heart rhythms can be identified and addressed so your chances for another stroke decreases. On the other hand, another reason for the importance of identifying and treating a silent stroke is that it might not be that much of a silent phenomenon as it was previously taught. Yep. It is confusing, but the fact is that with increased identification and research on silent stroke, it seems increasingly evident that some symptoms might actually be associated with silent stroke. Symptoms such as dementia or maybe depression. See, what is happening over here is that following a silent stroke, you don't have any of the immediate classical symptoms such as weakness, numbness, facial droop, etc. Hence, you are not aware of having a stroke, or better said, the silent stroke. However, as time passes, you may notice some decline in your memory, cognition, or maybe develop some depressive symptoms. Because of this, some scientists actually prefer to use the term covert stroke instead of silent stroke. They believe the stroke is not silent, but rather no one is listening to it, and hence not seeing the symptoms. Regardless, the point is that stroke can happen even in a very subtle way without any overt symptoms. If you have noticed an unexplained decline in your cognitive abilities or maybe experiencing some depressive symptoms, it might not be a bad idea to take an image of your brain.